Monday on one. A stark choice for British MPs this warning from Boris Johnson on what happens if Parliament rejects his Brexit deal timetable. A great regret. I, will, I must say that the bill, the bill will have to be pulled and we will have to go forward, uh, much as the right honourable gentleman may not like it, we will have to go forward to a general election. And the clock is ticking. MPs have been given just three days to debate the complex legislation. We're going to be live in Westminster as the House of Commons is preparing to hold the first of two crucial votes. Also on Global, Turkey's president threatens to restart. firm. We'll have all the details. Here in London, the House of Commons is preparing to hold two crucial votes which could determine whether Boris Johnson can keep the promise he made before he became prime minister to take us there. And she sent us this update. This is a critical summit that's now taking place here in Sochi between the presidents of Russia. Good morning, New Zealand. Enjoy breakfast with a fresh cup of my Dilma. What a great way to start your day. Do try it. It is Wednesday, the 23rd of October. Kia ora. it is great to have you with us, Morena. This is breakfast. We have been evacuated from the TV and, uh, TVNZ studios this morning as fire continues to rage at the site of the International Convention Centre in central Auckland with road closures and evacuations in and around the city. We'll have full coverage and updates throughout the morning. Jenny May joins me in our backup studio with John out in the field. So let's get straight to news. Yes, the blaze at Auckland's Sky City Convention Centre is still out of control. More than 100 firefighters have battled the inferno overnight and are still on the scene now. So let's go to John Campbell who is on the street outside the convention centre. John. Good morning everyone. Good morning. Yes, I'm on the corner of uh, Cook and Nelson. Nelson Street is closed uh, if you're coming into town from here down. Uh, we're going to take you on a bit of a tour in a sec. We're kind of making the show up as we go along this morning because we've been evacuated from the building. But let's bring in a man who really does know what's happening. He is uh, the regional manager for Fens Fire and Emergency New Zealand. Ron Devlin, thanks so much. And how long the recovery operation will take. I'm going to throw back to you in the studio. We will go and repeat position and we'll, uh, next time you return to us we'll be closer to the fire. Um, yes, as you may have guessed, we have been evacuated from the TVNZ building, which is straight across the road from the convention centre, where smoke is blowing into the CBD, where thousands of people will be heading this morning. And Maddie McLean, well, he's with us now. Maddie, what have you got for us? Yeah, well, uh, what a crazy morning it's been. Um, as we've already heard from John, we've had to decamp uh, to various spots around uh, the Auckland CBD. Uh, I'm with Wilson Longhurst, and we have come a, a short way away from the, the convention centre and from our own building uh, at TVNZ. Uh, but this kind of just gives you a full scale. Welcome back to breakfast. We are coming to you from our emergency studio across the road from TVNZ building. We have been evacuated due to the Auckland Convention Centre fire, which we will continue cover coverage with after this interview. But we do want to talk about the controversial end of life choice bill. Uh, it will go before Parliament today. MPs will decide on a number of proposed changes to the proposed legislation, including putting it to a referendum, which is a condition of New Zealand First's support. If a referendum if referendum does get the go-ahead, where to from here? Joining me now from Wellington is constitutional law expert Graham Edgler. Good morning, Graham. Graham, so is a referendum a good, day, a good way to deal with a, 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 a contentious issue like this end-of-life choice bill?
So we have some technical issues there, of course, <laughs> but so we will go straight to John Campbell, who is outside the Convention Centre fire in Auckland Central. John. My comms in? I'll just plug them in. Hang on. <laughs> hey, where's this? Where's Hello, this? am I on? I think we're on. Sorry. <laughs> Mia Goff, I think we're live on air. We great. are live on air. It's not a great place to be. It's <laughs> cold, windy, and the fire's still raging. So not a great morning for the city. No, it's not a great morning for the city. It's behind us. And uh, Hayley, can you see it in the back of shot? We've got it in the back of yeah. shot. Breakfast Brew is the hugely popular, wonderfully rich, strong and full-bodied Dilma English Breakfast. Good morning, New Zealand. Enjoy breakfast with a fresh cup of my Dilma. Do try it. Good morning, you're with breakfast. It is 25 minutes past seven. You are joining us from our makeshift studio as we've been uh, um, evacuated from TVNZ this morning because, as we have been reporting, the blaze at Auckland Sky City Convention Centre, well, it continues to burn. So let's go to John Campbell, um, who is on the street. So, John, how are things going? Well, I think you can see the shot. I'm standing beside our camerawoman, Hayley, now. She's just pulling out. We're on Nelson Street. I'm just wandering into shot. But you can see uh, the flames, so it is still very much burning. You can see the firefighter, uh, he or she, uh, working up the top, uh, spraying from on high. That's come up from Hamilton. Uh, and so they are fighting it as well as they can, but by and large they can't get above it to get down into the flames and the wind is very squally. Uh, they're doing a remarkable job. What is it, 19 hours now since they began? So that is the scene on Hobson Street here, and you can see why this part of central Auckland is closed. That's it from us on behalf of uh, our wonderful cameraman, Hayley Hadfield, and our uh, producers, Soph and Tom, who are standing over there. We've been wandering around all morning. Uh, it's been a great team to work with, and uh, I want to throw back to you in the makeshift studio. No one has told me where it was. Is that... No, we, we, and we don't... Think we don't yeah, no, we, and Hayley. we don't plan on telling you where it is. No, no one's told me where you are. <laughs> this is no, where we come. Gonna, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, we come uh, to you from your so, dreams, so, John. So called friends. <laughs> oh, where are you, friends? <laughs> oh, thanks for that, old mate. You've done a remarkable job this morning. And I know you don't like any positive comments coming back at you, but you certainly have given us different perspectives throughout the morning and really looking forward to seeing you tomorrow back in our studio, hopefully. I love it how he just turned his back yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, not well, listening I'm to you. Get out. One last shot. Oh, here we go. <laughs> One last shot. <laughs> look at the smoke. Well, look at the smoke. Mm. Look at this. It's unbelievable. It's bad. It is. It is unbelievable. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Um, if you are in Auckland, stay safe out there. Mm. Be patient uh, and have a look online to see if your bu bus services or any of your public transport have been affected. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Have a great day.